All right, uh, good morning, everybody. Today is Daf Kuf Yudalad Maseches Pesachim. So we left off, we got to the Mishnah on top. So now, says the Mishnah, so now we're going to get back, we're gonna, we, we discussed uh, Arbakosos, now we discussed, we, we mentioned Arbakosos, so now we go sort of through the order of the Seder. So Mazgulo Karus Rishon, so they go ahead and they dilute, they pour the first cup. Beishamai says, first you make, right, right, first you make that bracha, then afterwards you make bracha ala yayin. No, first you make a bracha ala and then then you make kiddush hayom, which comes afterwards. So that was the machlokas brought down in the Mishnah. Zuck the Gemara, smack in the middle of the page of Kufi Yudala, Tan Rabbanan. There's a machlokas, a, a number of items, a machlokas between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel as to the order, uh, how one, uh, 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 what he does during a suda, even a regular suda, and one of which is Beis Shammai which is uh, our Mishnah, which is one of the number of things that they argue about. So Beis Shammai says, you first you make a bracha ala yoyim, um, you make a bracha kiddush hayom, and afterwards you make a bracha al brei priya gofen, ala yoyim, mipnei shayom goring liyayim, because the day, is causing us to bring out the wine to make Kiddush. Right? If it wasn't for the day, if it wasn't, you know, uh, uh, Pesach night, then you would not bring, be bringing out a cup of wine. So therefore, you should, it's logical to say, it says you, you may first make the bracha, aliyayim, and then afterwards, you be mevarich aliyayim, and also, mipnei shayom garen liyayim shia. Well, the shayom, and also, reason number two, because, the day is already sanctified, right? Kiddush Shayom happens at you know a- after uh, approximately Tzitz Kochavim, and you're making Kiddush afterwards. So it was already Pesach, and now so therefore that should really come first, right? Kiddush Shayom v'adayin yain loba and wine wasn't there yet, right? And because you didn't make Kiddush. Beis Hillel Oimrim mevarech al yain mevarech on wine. First you make a bread piyagav yachar mevarech al yain, then you make Kiddush Shayom. Why? Mipnei Shayain gurim the Kiddush because the wine. Is causing the kiddush. In other words, if we didn't have wine, you wouldn't be making kiddush. You can't make kiddush on nothing. You need to make kiddush on wine. So therefore, you should be mavarich al hayayin. Mipnei shayayin gorei the kiddush atayma and dovar acher and another reason. Berchas hayayin tadir. Berchas hayayin ain't a tadira. Tadir is ain't a tadir. Tadir kaidim. So berchas hayayin is more common. It's done throughout the year. However, you do not make the bracha. Of Kiddush Hayom for Shosh Regalim throughout the year, right? Not as common. And therefore, if you have two things in front of you, something which is common and something which is not common, so the, the common item takes precedence, so you do that first. The Hilchas on the Lachas Kadir Beisil, like the Beisil, which is the way we do. And my Dabarachir, what, what was the reason why they, 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 uh, they gave a Dabarachir a second reason? So, Vachitay Mahasim Tarati Velchachada, if you want to say the Beis Shammai listed two reasons. Beis Shammai says, because the day causes the wine to come out, and the day happens automatically before the wine, ever, before the, you ever make Kiddush. So, maybe that's a reason to do that. So Beis Shammai has two reasons, and Beis Hill only had one reason. It says, only because the wine would make Kiddush. So, therefore, so how can I be tired to so too over here? We bring a second reason, you know, Tadir Vashena Tadir Tadir Kodam. Therefore, we bring the second reason of Tadir Vashena Tadir Tadir Kodam. But Halacha, Nalachas, Kadivri, Beis Halacha, is like the Beis Halacha. So Gomorrah says, Pshita, it's obvious. Why did you have to go ahead and tell us that? How nothing about Baskol? We had a Baskol that says Halacha Kibes Hillel versus Beis Shammai. So after a number of years of arguing, there was a, a baskal that came down and said that the halach is like Beisil and not Beishamai. So Ibo is saying, if you want to say that this brisa has happened before the baskal, and therefore it was necessary to say that halach is Beishamai, oh, excuse me, halach is Beisil, or Ibo is saying, or you can say, or it was after the baskal, but Rabbi Shua, he was calling the Shua, the Omar, ain mashkichim baskal. The according to Rabbi Shua, he said it in the Gemara, I think it's the Gemara in uh, Erevin, as uh, the Rashbam brings down, doesn't quote the whole Gemara there, but it brings down, I think, uh, somewhere, right? Rabbi Shua, yeah, uh, right? Um, and also in the he brings it, uh, where Rabbi Shua said it, right? So he says um, that we don't listen to Basco, right? The Torah, Lobi Shemaimi, right? The Torah is not uh, in the heavens, and therefore it's down here, it's Paskin down here in this world, and therefore you don't listen to the Basco. So he, maybe it's going to Rabbi Shua, says don't listen to Basco, and therefore it was necessary to go ahead and say, Halacha kedivre beis hello. Fine, nay mishnah. So haviu lefanav. So now they bring in front of him metabel the chazeres, a dip, right? They bring in front of him a dip of chazeres, right? Chazeres is is lettuce, 
right? Uh, which is, is chazeres, uh, will be eaten as moror. So they bring in front of them something that a lettuce, right? Uh, a dip, ad shemigil of parperas apas, until you get to the parperas apas. Parperas apas is like the appetizer to the pas, which is basically the moror later on. So you bring a dip now, right? And it calls it chazeres, right? But as lab dafka, you don't have to have chazeres, so the students in the Gemara. So you bring a dip, something to dip now, right? Before you have something later, i.e. before the moror later. And then, then at that point in time, they heviu the fun of, they bring out in front of them matzah, they bring out the matzah, the chazeres, and then over there, chazeres, uh, lettuce for, for moror, the charoses, and charoses, which is the charoses that we know nowadays, right? The shnei tafshilin, and two cooked, uh, uh, two cooked foods. And afal bishen charoses mitzvah, and you bring out charoses, even though charoses is not necessarily a mitzvah to go ahead and dip the moror in the charoses, but nevertheless, you bring it out. And Rabbi Ezer, Rabbi Tzadok, Aymer, mitzvah, it is a mitzvah. And during the Zaman of Mikdash, they used to go ahead and also bring out the current Pesach at this point in time, right? So these are some of the items on the Seder plate, right? So you uh, bring those items, two cooked items, um, and we'll discuss this in the Gemara. So let's see the Gemara. So that was the mission. Turn the page. Omer Reish Lakish, top, top of the line, Kufi Dalar Rebbeis. Omer Reish Lakish, Zoy Samaras, Mitzvah Tzrichas Kavana. It must be that we can learn from here that mitzvah needs kavana. Why? Kavan the loy be idan the chayiv the mar who the achile b'bari pri adam who the achile right. In other words, you only make a bracha. You don't make a bracha of mar. You only make a b'bari pri adam now, right? When you first bring out the the lettuce the first time, I'm going to call it the lettuce. The lettuce is is right. Let's say. Your, you know, your romaine lettuce, right? So you only make a bracha, a bracha the first time. Now the second time. Now, if mitzvahs didn't require kavana, that means a person can unintentionally fulfill a mitzvah. Now, if I, what's, if I eat lettuce in the beginning as my karpas, right? As we call it karpas, right? If I eat lettuce in the beginning, so, and then, and I don't need kavana, so I ate the lettuce, which is going to be used as the maror, I ate in the beginning. So therefore, I already fulfilled the obligation of maror, right? I don't need to do it again, even if I didn't intend to. So, l'chaira, right, it must be that mitzvah shikas kavana, because over here, if it doesn't make a difference what my intentions were, and the, the mitzvah is to go ahead and eat lettuce at night, to eat mar at night, and I eat it in the beginning, so I'm ready for my obligation, even if I didn't intend to, because I was going to eat it later on. So it must be that since I didn't intend to fill, fulfill my obligation with the eating of the lettuce in the beginning, right, so the, and therefore I make a, I make a chilas mar later on. Why didn't I fulfill the mitzvah? It must be that mitzvah ain't sir kavana, right? No, excuse me, it must be the mitzvah sir kavana, and I didn't have intentions to go ahead and fulfill the obligation. So the Gemara says, no, the dimloy chavi, the martyr, maybe it could be that he purposely did not intend to go ahead and, and have kavana for martyr. He'll kach boy the meadr, that's really the shame martyr, right? And therefore, right, he didn't, he didn't intend to do the, to, to have, to fill the obligation of Mara, and therefore later on he has to go ahead back and do Mara, right? So you see, Mrs. Yaskavada, since I didn't intend to fill my obligation of Mara, right, therefore I have to do it again, right? So let's learn from here that mitzvahs need Kavana, right? If I drink a cup of grape juice because or wine in the beginning because I'm thirsty, right, then maybe I didn't fulfill my obligation of drinking a cup of wine. These Sagadas Mrs. Lebe Kavana, because if you would think that mitzvahs, right, do not require Kavana, Lama Lucha Tre Tivuli. Right? Why would you have to go ahead and dip again? Right? Dip the the mara later on. You already dip at the beginning of the meal. So the Gemara says, "No, me my." Who says that's the case? Maybe the mitzvah really is mitzvahs do not require kavana. With the and now what you ask? Hey, why are you dip in two times? Right? In there, in order that there should be something recognizably different about this night. That this night is different than all the other nights. And therefore, you go ahead and do, to, uh, and do twice. So if that's the case, if that's the case, go ahead and bring other vegetables. Why do you, why, right? It says there in our Mishnah, right? You bring the chazeres, right? You bring the lettuce, right? You bring the lettuce, right? It says chazeres, right? You chazeres, right? You bring the lettuce twice. Why does it bring something else? 
But if I would have thought other, if I would have, let's say, I would have brought other vegetables, I would have brought carrots or potatoes or whatever, I mean, I would have thought, hey, Chadi, because Shari Yerakas, who believe in trade to be with. Maybe I would have thought only in a case of where I managed to go ahead and have two different dip vegetables, right? I have potatoes in the beginning and then uh, lettuce in the end, right? Then I go ahead and do it twice. But let's love by trade But if I only had lettuce, then I wouldn't go ahead and dip twice. I would only dip once. So Kamash Lon, Dafid the Khazar is being in trade tivule. And so it comes to teach you that even if I only have the lettuce, I go ahead and I dip it twice. In order that there should be a uh, um, uh, something recognizable to the to the children that tonight is different. The Aitanida, and furthermore, we learn Achlan Demai. A person needs demai, something that was uh, uh, purchased from an Amar, it's a suffix as to whether the Chumas Mice was taken from it. Yatza, he has fulfilled his obligation. Achlam below miskaved, it says over here, Befeir should be aided without kavana. Yatza, he has fulfilled his obligation, right? So you see, mitzvahs don't need kavana, right? And Achlam chatzin, and a person needs, let's say, half a kazayas, right? Yatza, he only needs half and then another half. Yatza, bovachle, yisha, ben achila, chaverta, yaisim, echlechilas, pras. Yeah, uh, if, if he doesn't eat all at once, but he eats a half a kazais, another half a kazais, as long as he eats it within the time to go ahead and eat a loaf of barley bread, right? So let's say it takes a couple four minutes, let's say in between. I'm just making up a time, you know. Uh, they're not saying that's a chiyas pras, but let's say if I eat it within four minutes of each other, that's also fulfilled the obligation. But nevertheless, we see over here it says beferish. If you ate it below his kavein, I ate it because I was hungry. I'm on a diet, and I wanted some lettuce, right? Yotza. So you don't need kavana. So the answer is tanahi. Really, it's a machlokes tanahi. The tiny little rice. So Rabbi Yosi Yomer Afal Pi Shativa Bechazeres. Even though one already went ahead and he had his lettuce in the beginning, he had his maror, his romaine lettuce, in the beginning of the meal. Mitzvah lahavi lefanav chazeres vecharaisis v'shnei tavshilin. It's a mitzvah to go ahead and bring out uh, more chazeres later on and charosis and dip it in there. So you see, according to Rabbi Yosi, right that. Um, that uh, that Rabbi Yaisi requires uh, kavana. That's why you bring it out again. So Gemara says Viakati mimai. Who says that's the case? Dovel k'savar Rabbi Yaisi. This is ain't zirchel kavana. Maybe Rabbi Yaisi holds ain't zirchel kavana. The high divine trait to The reason why he wants to go ahead and bring out a dip a second uh, dip a second time. Like we said earlier, in order that there should be some sort something recognizable to the children. Same Cain, my mitzvah. If that's the case, why does it say it's mitzvah to bring out? Right, mitzvah sounds like mitzvah to do achilos moror. That's the mitzvah. So therefore, you see that Rabbi Yaisi holds that mitzvah is shrikas uh, kavar. Now, zok the gemara, my shnei, my shnei tafshilin. What are these two cooked foods? So I'm Ravuna, silka v'arosa, right? Silka beets and oras and 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 rice and rava havi mahadi are silka v'arosa. Hoi v'nafik mi pumi de ravuna. And Rabba used his makbe to go ahead, and since the, the teaching of Rav Huna was beets and rice, he used to go ahead and look for beets and rice and cook them and bring them out to a seder. And Amar Ravashi says, Ravashi, Shishmami no, right? Those of you who are Svardi, I don't know if you goes on right now, right? They say, so the Shishmami no, learn from here. The Rav Huna, less the Chayish, the the Ha, the Rav Yechem actually not even Svardi anymore, right? But he says, there are those who are not Chayish, the Rav Yechem Anuri, the Tainer Rav Yechem Anuri, Oymer, Oyrez mean Dogon, who, right? Oyrez rice is a type of Dogon, right? I know the Kinyos, right? But not Oyrez, so I say, Oyrez is a, the rice is a type of Dogon, a type of grain. The Chayav, the Chayav, and Achimutz, the Pesach, right? That if it goes at leavens, one is chayav kares for that, and one can fulfill his obligation with uh, having rice on Pesach, right? So you know, it's basically that it's no different than the grains, and therefore, right, he would have rice, but obviously, um, uh, um, the, the Ruhuna, he, he was not concerned with that. Rabbi Yechon said that because he would look for rice, that uh, according to him, that rice basically is forbidden because it become chametz, and chizki amar. Afilu dog ubeitza shalaf, right? Even if a, a fish and an egg that was cooked with it, those are considered to be two cooked dishes. And Rav Yosef Amar Tzarech Shnei Mine Basar. No, no, you should use two types of meat. Echad zecher lepesach. One is zecher lepesach. Echad zecher lechagiga. And the other one is zecher lechagiga. Right, which we do right nowadays. Right, where we have zecher lepesach and lechagiga. Right, so we have the shank bone, which is zecher lepesach, and the other is the uh, egg. Right, some people roast it. Right, and therefore the egg is also zecher uh, le the chagiga, the karma chagiga that was brought and eaten along with the karma pesach, 
And Ravina Omar, Afilu Garba Bishula, even Garmi, even like a, a, a stew, a part of a piece of meat, and the and the um, and the soup that was cooked with it, that's considered to be two separate cooked dishes. So Pshita, now let's go to the final case. Let's say a person has other vegetables. He has, let's say, potatoes, right? We eat potatoes, very common. You make on those vegetables, they're karpas, right? You, you make kiddush, right? And then all of a sudden you go into the karpas, right? You have your karpas, you wash, you don't make a bracha, right? So shayi rakos, brefi adama. He makes a brefi adama, the achil, and eats it. Vahadim varechal chazmara, the achil. And then later on, when he gets to mara, during the time of the matzah is out, after the matzah, he has to have the mara. So then he says, later on, al chilas mara, right? Because he never had mara yet. He only had potato. He didn't have his romaine lettuce, right? However, however, if he only has, let's say, the romaine lettuce, my, what does he do? First, he makes a bracha on the on this lettuce, and he says, and then eats it then. And later on, when it gets time to the murder, then he goes ahead and makes the bracha, um, um, and not necessarily the brepri ha'adam, right? So that was the opinion of Rav Huna. Let's just go a couple more lines in the next page. So Moscow, let's just finish the suga. So Moscow, Rav Chis, the top of the page. Rav Chis has a kasha and Rav Huna, right? So Rav Huna says, basically like we do, right? You make a brepi adama, right? Even if it's the same, right? Even if it's the same lettuce, you make brepi adama on the remain lettuce in the beginning for your karpas. And then later on, right? When it comes time for achilas mar, you make a brocha achilas mar. So Moscow, Rav Chis, the... So it says, Rav Chis, the... So he says, Le'ache shemile krisa hameno chayzim varechala. After... He already ate the moror. He's going to make a bracha achilas moror. He already ate moror, right? Elor of chizda meikara mevarech ale brepi adoma de al achilas moror v'yachel. Right? Really, in the beginning, by the design of the karpas, he makes the bracha on this lettuce of brepi adoma, and then he makes the bracha of al achilas moror. Was safe, and in the end, achil achilas chasa b'loy bracha. And in the end, he has moror again, the shame mitzvah with the matzah. During the time he eats the matzah, and then he makes, then he eats it without a bracha. So now he makes the two the al chilas in the beginning. So that Rav Chiza asks, he argues with Rav Huna, you don't make a bracha later on. You make it in the beginning with the brepi adama. So basura avdi k'Rav Huna in sura they did like Rav Huna, like the first opinion. Rav Sheshes brei Rav Yeshua avdi k'Rav Chiza the halachas of Rav Chiza Rav Sheshes the son of Rav Yeshua did like Rav Chiza and the halachas of Rav Chiza that you make the the, the, the bracha on the morrow in the beginning if you're going to have the same lettuce the same remain lettuce both times. However, Rav Acha Brei Durova Mahadar Shayirakos. However, Rav Acha Brei Durova was uh, he was very mocked to go look for other types of vegetables. Why? That fucking Avshay be pluksa in order to get out of the machlokas. Right? This machlokas only is if he has the same romaine lettuce both for his karpas and his moror. Then he holds a shayla is it like Ravuna is it like Rav Chiza. You make the two brachas in the beginning and the end. But if you want to avoid this whole question, then you go ahead and you take your potato in the beginning. Then you make a brei adama. And, and then everyone agrees. Then later on, with time for the moror, you don't need to make a brei adama. You just make al achilas moror on the remain lettuce. All right, we'll stop here. Shkayach, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day and enjoy. Hopefully, our final uh, our final snow. Shkayach.